Hello everyone! This video is released by the ECCB Council to explain how child development teachers and workers create a weekly plan for center-based program implemented in an alternative venue or CBPAP. A weekly plan is a schedule of developmentally appropriate activities laid out for a week that focuses on a concept that is based on children's needs and interests. This is an example of a weekly plan. It is a simple template used by child development teachers and workers to plan activities good for five to seven days. It might sound too long, but this can be done if the activities are based on the family's daily interaction at home and if preparations are not too tedious. It is also advisable to give two to three activities every week in order for the parents to feel at ease about being a teacher to their child. This also allows them to modify activities according to how the child responds to it. Having this kind of flexible schedule allows parents to feel comfortable in implementing the activities and when this happens, the parent is able to focus on the child rather than the materials and procedure. Now we will show you the different parts of a weekly plan. The activity section is where the teacher writes the title of the activity to be done. The National Early Learning Curriculum, or NELC, is a rich source of suggested activities that can be used for weekly plans. However, most activities are written with the center-based program in mind. And that is why the teachers need to modify them so that it can be implemented at home or at temporary learning spaces. In the What We Need section, materials needed for the activity is written. For this part, it is highly suggested to list down materials that are accessible. It is also discouraged to use materials that will take too much time to prepare or will have to be bought. Do take note that the home is already filled with different materials and we just have to be more resourceful. After listing the materials, the teacher will then fill out the how to the, do the activity section. For this part, the instructions should be written as simply as possible. This is because we do not want to scare parents from trying out the activities and teachers must remember that it is their task to make parents feel that these suggested activities will not be a burden for them. Now, the highlight of the weekly plan is the What Parents Should Observe section. For every activity suggested to parents, teachers must also be able to point out the things they should be paying attention to. Additionally, since the teacher will no longer be able to directly observe children as they do activities, the observations will now be solely dependent on the parents' reports to get a picture of how the child is developing. These observations are crucial so that the teacher can come up with suggested activities every week. Now let us explain how child development teachers and workers create a weekly plan for CBPAP at home. To start, the teacher must assess the children's skills and interests that are based on the parents' observations. Once the teacher has collected the data, he or she will now start to plan the activities and present it to the parents who will implement them at home. Lastly, based on the parents' observations and feedback, the activities will be evaluated during the weekly parent-teacher session so that the teacher can prepare the next weekly plan. This process is done weekly in order for the teacher to come up with developmentally appropriate activities that are based on the context of the child and his or her family. For this example, let's start by getting the weekly plan for parents. Then, for example, the theme identified for the week is my family. 
and the plan is for children aged 3 to 3.11 years old for the week of August 1 to 7. Based on the theme and age group, the teacher can choose an activity from the Learning Resource Package 5. For this example, it's a picture frame decorating activity that has four objectives, materials such as family picture, picture frame template, coloring materials, stickers, cutouts of flowers, glue, etc. It must also be noted that the procedure listed here is based on a center-based setting. But since the activity is per fab, the teacher should modify so that it can be easily implemented at home. This is an example of a modified activity. Based on the activity from the LRP5, the teacher has now simplified the objectives, materials, and procedure. After the modifications have been made, the teacher can now put it on the weekly plan to be distributed to the parents. This activity can be done in a span of three days and the teacher can remind parents that they can think of their own modifications based on their child's interests or own ideas. And this is where the flexibility of the weekly plan comes in. Lastly, for days 4 to 7, the teacher can think of 2 to 3 more activities that are also based on the week's theme. Aside from CBPAV at home, teachers also create weekly plans for CBPAV at temporary learning spaces. These are the instances where the child's home is made unavailable because of natural disasters or armed conflict. In this context, the child development teacher assess the child's immediate needs and the situation of families in the context of emergencies. The teacher considers the status of the available temporary learning space, materials available, and severity of the emergency situation. This will be the basis for the creation of weekly plan of activities. The teacher then implements and evaluates the activities during the week. It is recommended that the teacher keep an open communication with parents of the children to give advice or updates on how their child is faring. The process is done weekly in order for the activities to stay developmentally appropriate and in line with the context and current situation of the children in the program. For this example, the emergency situation is a fire that broke out in a community. Because of this, families needed to evacuate and temporarily stay in an evacuation center. Once the teacher identifies a temporary learning space, he or she can now check the materials available for the children to use. This will depend on the identified number of children and the materials available in the center or if the LGU has given provisions for such materials. Once everything has been settled, the teacher can now prepare a weekly plan. This is a sample weekly plan, and since the children just went through a traumatic event, the teacher has chosen the theme Feelings and Emotions to help the children identify their current emotional state and well-being. This weekly plan is being prepared for children aged 3 to 3.11 and is for implementation from August 1 to 7. Upon checking the Learning Resource Package 5, the teacher has chosen the Paper Plate Faces activity. Now, the teacher will modify the activity based on the emergency situation the children are in. Given the stressful and dramatic experience that the children must have gone through, the teacher made the objective simple and relatable to the situation they are in. In such situations, it is important to let the child identify his or her emotions in order for an adult, and in this case, the teacher, to process the event that has happened. Once the modifications have been made, 
The teacher can now transfer the activity to the weekly plan template and keep it as a guide for the week. The activity can be conducted for around two days and the teacher can think of other activities for the remaining days. The teacher does not have to conduct the activities for seven straight days, but he or she must keep in mind that the learning sessions in temporary learning spaces will depend on the current situation that the children are in, may it be physical, emotional, and space-related. The teacher can share to the parents how the processing of activities went so that they understand it and may help in responding appropriately to their child's immediate needs. Now that we have shown the different ways on how weekly plans are created in the context of the CD path, we would like to emphasize that the weekly plan should be simple and flexible and it should be based on the children's age, skills, and interests, and the availability of resources, the context of the families, and the context of the emergency situation they are in. The ECCD Council is continually striving to release materials that can help teachers and parents in conducting programs such as the CDPAP. We hope that this video can be a helpful guide for all child development teachers and workers who work hard to ensure that children will always have access to early learning opportunities despite their circumstances.